Data is a powerful tool in the fight to eradicate polio. The search for the polio virus begins with a sick child. One day, Amina wakes up unable to move her arm and leg. She is showing symptoms of acute flaccid paralysis. Her parents, worried about the floppiness in her limbs, travel with her to the nearest healthcare center where a doctor checks her over. Each case of acute flaccid paralysis acts as a signal to the global polio surveillance system that polio might be circulating. Even in the most remote villages, the World Health Organization works with teachers, clerics, pharmacists, traditional healers and community leaders to teach them how to recognize and report any child with acute flaccid paralysis to the surveillance system. But not every case of acute flaccid paralysis is caused by polio. Next, the surveillance system needs to find out whether Amina's paralysis was caused by the virus. Because polio lives in the intestine, the health worker collects two stool samples from Amina. They then package them safely and send them to a laboratory. 146 World Health Organization accredited laboratories around the world test around 200,000 stool samples from people with paralysis every single year. From this vigilant testing, 99.99% of stool samples come back negative for polio. But that tiny fraction of positive results tells the World Health Organization where the virus is hiding. Epidemiologists gather to analyze the data that is collected through the polio surveillance system. Where did the virus come from? Where might it go next? Who is most at risk? The answers they find to these questions help to predict the best way to stop the virus. In carefully selected places where the virus could be hiding, surveillance officers take sewage samples that also go to the laboratory for testing. This can help to find polio in the environment before it has a chance to paralyze a single child. In more than 70 countries, the World Health Organization helps to keep this system going. All countries in the world carry out surveillance, even where polio hasn't been found in years. This extensive network is essential to make sure that if the virus crosses borders, it will be found and stopped. The World Health Organization makes sure that every link in the surveillance chain fits together. It is the information that results from a well-functioning surveillance system that lets experts know when and where vaccination campaigns are urgently needed. It is this that will enable polio to be eradicated once and for all. In this way, we can keep children like Amina protected from polio in the future. The benefits of this remarkable network stretch far beyond polio. It can also be used to identify other diseases like SARS, Ebola, Zika, measles, and yellow fever. The work of thousands of people make the polio surveillance system the most extensive of its kind. From the most remote villages to conflict zones to huge cities, they find and stop the polio virus wherever it exists. Find out more about the global drive to eradicate polio at www.polioeradication.org.